Hi, this is Clark. Uh, we're not on the boat right now. We're at our house in Mount Dora, Florida. Uh, we came back uh, for hurricane season. A friend needed some help, so we did a boat delivery, and we're going to stay here for hurricane season and then join Temptress. Okay, most of you that came to this video came because I have a Mercedes S500. Uh, we uh, started driving it, and the back end went right down. I tried everything. I did all the things you're supposed to do. I checked for leaks. I took the pump out. I verified the air pump was working. I disassembled the valve uh, train. Got that all working beautifully. It already was. Tested it on my bench. Spent a lot of time going down basically everything on uh, YouTube tells you to do. And here's the thing you should do first. If you're any uh, W220 Mercedes or basically any other car with uh, air suspension, goes right down in the back or right down in one side. First thing to check is what the computer checks. The little sensor that tells it how high it should be riding. In our case, the little sensor has an arm on it and the arm fell off. Brought it off at the end and that's the problem. I'm gonna show you the arm, show you how simple it was to finally jury rig it. I'll be fixing it when I get apart. Uh, come with me. Okay, coming under the car, uh, this is the in from the uh, driver's side. Uh, it's really hard to get up in here, but there it is. Uh, the copper wire is my little quick fix. That rod is the part that came off at the copper wire. And the little box up there, you can see the arm of it anyway, is the actual setting in it that tells it how high the ride is. Anyway. That was it, and um, I'll fix that up properly in the near future, but right now I just kind of wired it together so it flexes but still moves, and we're good. Hope you have good luck with yours.